Hey, hey, hey. That's a poo, that's a poo, that's a poo. So glad you could join us, Herun Affair, again in Pukamut, Hemnacher, the Shemsu, Amen Ra, Karauneth, Amen Ra. Glad to be here with you. This is Impu, your servant of the spirit. Out of the temple of the white and gold lotus, shrine of Amen Ra. Out of the house of Mut, or the Hetemut. Coming to you directly with the Kemetic Aha and Sama Associations. Tai Chi Chuan and Qi Gong sessions in partnership with Black Visions of Wellness. So today, we're going to start off with our bow, as usual, with some massage stance. We're going to get right into the Qigong, get into the form exercises, get into the form. We're going to review the form and the footwork. We're going to go over the footwork, and today we're going to add the first part of the hands which is gonna keep the arms extended as we get into that movement after the push. So you'll be able to see that, we'll focus on that. Then we'll focus on the footwork and connection to that, the foot and the hips. We'll go over the steps again. So the next week and the rest of the time, we will have time to remember how to get us, ourselves all the way to stir the cauldron into single whip, which is the movement that takes us into the grand solar year and is the great transition that we have into the next uh, portion of the short form of Yang's Tai Chi Chuan as we were taught through great grandmaster Dalu. So with that, I'm excited to be here this morning. It feels really good. It's a wonderful, wonderful brisk, 50 degrees in Southern California in Los Angeles, which for most folks, you know, for me, this is still shorts weather in the sun. But for many, <laughs> for many, it's cold. So what I want to remind you is that you do your Qigong, you do your breathing, and you have a great opportunity to be able to recognize that temperature changes and recognize that it's all it is, is the temperature change and you can breathe, you can enhance, you can move as long as it's not windy. Got it? And we'll go over some of those things as we're coming back to our Sundays with Sabah to be on the first Sundays and the last Sundays. So it's kind of like doubling up. We get two weeks in a row, first and last. And then it gives time for us in the break to kind of work through everything that we're working through, let it percolate. Hope that everybody's well. Let's get to it. Let's stand up and let us. I'm gonna wet my whistle a little bit. Stand up, and then we will get started. So let's get to it. All right. Here we go. All right. So. We want to be in Wuchi position. Heels together from a 90 degree angle. Good, good, good. I'm going to get that just a little bit lower. I want you to be able to see my feet. Yes. All right. So now that we're here, bring the hands on the pyramid hands. And we say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. And then we bow teacher to student, student to teacher. Back into Wu Chi. Using your bellows breathing. Bring the hands into pyramid hands. Shift all the way to the right. You're going to pick up that left foot. Step to the left, a little bit wider than shoulders width. Balance the weight between the legs. Sit down, tuck the bottom. Two breaths. Good. 
Open hands into the Asara stance position. I'm gonna do 20 breaths. Bella's breathing. See the visualization. A little lower for four more breaths.
Pyramid hands. Shift the weight to the right as you slide the left foot in the Ruchi position. And the hands come down and we shake it out opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, good work, good work. Feet parallel, shoulders width. And then get right back into Wu Chi. So you go here, feet parallel, shoulders width, Wu Chi. Got it. Step, feet parallel, shoulders width, pivot, Wu Chi. We'll try that again. So you're going to step, look, shoulders width, pivot, turn to the front, feet are straight and parallel. Pivot, slide it in. Wu Chi, all right? All right, that's just a little simple footwork, the easy footwork. <laughs> we'll get into how that can work for you to your benefit. A little bit later, because you can go either to the right, like we were doing there, going to your left, or we can do it going to the right, here. Okay. Got it? Good. Wu Chi, pyramid hands. And we're going to step again, heel first, a little wider than shoulders width. Going to move up a little. All right. So we got it. Palms up. Holding the golden balls for two breaths. Using the full bellows breathing. Rotating the palms and the hands into oneness. Palms facing down, hands relax. Elbows are lower than the wrists. Two breaths. into the turtle, chin down, and out to the drawbridge. Point the hands between the legs for two breaths. into oneness, two breaths, rabbit through the shoot, Remember the hands don't go higher than the center of the forehead.
into oneness. I'm going to go in the elbows. Pick up the pace. Slow it down. Into oneness. Right hand on top of left hand, palms up, thumbs touching. Rotate the left hand on top, palms are facing each other. See a ball of golden white light like the sun in between the palms of the hands. Into oneness, two breaths. Into the turtle, chin down, and out to the drawbridge. Hands between the legs, two breaths. And the oneness. All right, so we come on back, we're right here. Shift the weight, bring the hands in the pyramid hands, shift the weight to the right, slide that left foot in, Wu Chi. And bring it down and shake it out. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. Hands are here. Two breaths. Put the hands forward, two breaths. And now as you can see my feet, we're gonna do this very gently, you're going to shift all the weight to the left. Now pivot 45 degrees on that right heel. You're going to shift the weight back to the right, step forward with the left, 
Gonna bring the hands like so. All the weight is on the right leg. The right hand out from the heart, left hand out here. Four breaths. And you're gonna step back with that right, bring the hands down here, and we're gonna go into swinging arms. Let them swing till they stop. Sinking down, opening the chest. This is number three of five. And shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down as you exhale, we begin the gathering. All right, bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, separate the palms out in front, right out in front of the heart. I'm gonna raise the palms towards the heaven eight times. Here we go, one.
and bring it down. Let me shake it out. Be parallel shoulders width. All right, here we go. Sink it down as you exhale. Sun rises over the mountain and sunsets. Excellent, folks, and be sure to continue doing that sunrises over the mountain and sunsets. We're going to shake it out. All right, good. Now we're going to get into the exercises of the form. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down as you exhale, sun rises. We're going to do ward off right and left four breaths. Two more sunrises. One more. We go right into four breaths to grass the bird's tail.
stepping back and shaking it out. Opposites. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. All right, you can see the feet. We're gonna go all the way through the section. I'm gonna call out the feet after we get to the push, okay? So it'll be nice and easy for folks. Here we go, sinking down as you exhale. Now you want to watch the right foot. I'm going to come up, keep the hands here. I'm going to pivot, put the foot down when it's at 90 degrees, shift the weight, and turn. And the left foot around, you're going to shift the weight and pivot on that right heel. Bring the hands down. Shake it out. We'll do it again. All right, now we're going to focus on the feet this time through that transition. So I want to make sure you get it. Sinking down, sun rises. And we'll go through it slowly. So you have an opportunity to really get it in depth. This is why the Asar stance needs to be at 15 minutes, between 10 to 15, so we can move. Push, toe is up. You turn the waist, the whole body turns. And you drop that right foot down at 90 degrees. And you gotta shift the weight back to the right leg, bring the left foot around, shift the weight, and you pivot on the right heel. Excellent. Okay, we do it one more time. Sinking down, sun rises. Shift the weight, toes up on the right foot. Rotate to the front, 90 degrees, sit it down. Shift the weight, pivot. Piv shift the weight, and you pivot on the right heel. Got it? Okay. Now this is important that we get it because we got another five days until we're back together again. So I wanna make sure and we have it well, sinking down. This will be our last time. Toes up, pivot, 90 degrees, come around, pivot, and you're here. Excellent. All right, 
Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width, real quick. Tuck your bottom. You're gonna breathe in, palms facing you. As you exhale, let the hands fall. Again, breathing in and out. One more time, palms facing out and out. In and out. All right, find a seat, good comfy spot. We're gonna sit tall. All right. So right now we're gonna breathe as long as the arms. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna do the other alternate nostril. You're gonna take your right index finger and thumb, palm up, rest it on the thighs. Now take your left thumb, block off the left nostril, middle and index finger in the center of the forehead. Breathing in, out, again, using the bellows, breathing in, out, in, out, fire breath. Deep breath in. And release. Exchanging hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Fire breath. Deep breath in. Release. Both hands, palms up, index and thumb touching, palm up. Breathing in. Out. In, out, in, out, fire breath, deep breath in. Chin down and release. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Palms down on top of the knees, breathing in, breathing out, exhale through the mouth, cleansing breath, in, cleansing breath through the mouth, out, in, and out through the nostrils, in, and out through the nostrils. So notice the nostrils are still breathing strongly together in and out. And now we're gonna to get to the wisdom from the sages of the ages. My favorite part of the class today, we're gonna to go from the essence of Tai Chi Chuan literary tradition, wisdom from the sages of the ages, clear the mind, and this particular portion is taken from the Tai Chi Chuan Lu. 
empty the left wherever a pressure appears, and similarly the right. If the opponent raises up, I seem taller. If they sink down, then I seem lower. Advancing, the distance seems incredibly longer. Retreating, the distance seems exasperatingly short. So light an object as a feather cannot be placed, and so small an insect as a fly cannot alight on any part of the body. The opponent doesn't know me. I alone know them. To become a peerless boxer results from this. And with that, again, we say thank you, Dua. Atapu, peace to you. Uncle Jasaneb, life, health, and strength. We want you well. We want you to recognize and understand that these are challenging times. And in these challenging times, it is important for you to take courage and to be bold and brave to be able to manage the things that you need to manage, whether that's just getting out of bed and coming to class, that is its own victory. Whether it's getting out of bed and doing a SAR stance, that is its own victory. But what we want to do is to be able to provide you with the tools so that you can show up for yourself, for your family, your clan, your community, and then eventually for all of us here. But it starts with you. So that you have the ability to look at yourself in the mirror and really like what you see. You have the ability to transform your life and this world. Let's start with the breath. And then let's start with some massage stance. Let's start with some movement. Let's start with some Qigong. Let's start with some writing. Let's find a way to spark the creative juices to get them flowing in you, that you identify what is your mission. And that that fire ignites and your passion ignites and you become present. And I don't mean in terms of the moment but I mean that you become so full of joy and life and the joie de vivre that you inspire others just by your presence. And that is the gift. Get on mission. Hatapu. And we bow out saying to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Giving honor to the ancestors, Ashe paying homage to the eternal witnesses of the earth and the heavens and sky. I bid you peace, Hatipu, and Uncle Jasaneb continued life, health, and strength. Hatip.